There you go. Hi everyone, this is my channel, Deborah the Debbie Moore. This is my granddaughter. Now, I promised you all a week ago I would go through my comments. But before I get into this, I must warn you that some of them are uh, not appropriate for younger people. Probably not under 21. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, I'm just going to read them off. Uh, you're a mysterious as a brunette. That was. I like shift. you as a brunette, but you haven't you haven't been anything other than blonde for like the past couple of years. That's because I was a brunette for I know 50, 60 years. I know. Okay, okay uh, it's time for you to go purple. I was, oh no! It says you look nice and sexy, Mae West, and I have short, thick legged. Oh, I'm a short, thick legged bitch. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, that's from Brian. He's Brian a, B.C. Pryor. He's actually uh, one of my nice subscribers. Okay. Cannot wait to see you. Uh, New Year's Eve 2020, unless you go chill. I don't have a date, Brian, but mm, yeah. <clears throat> don't have a date. You definitely are well-rounded. I've seen both of them. Well, I've never shown my boobs. I don't know what that means. Jess Guerrero. Yes. Just realized how nice your boobs are. Yeah, well, I've, wow. I've never showed him that. Okay. I'm 16 and I like MILFs by Rob <laughs> Slayer. You should <laughs> do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Study for midterms. Okay, I want you read them, Lana. They get tired of hearing my old boy. Let's see. James Grushesh, I want to see your secret place. Well, what the hell uh, For forty nine ninety seven, you can donate that to the Bank of Alana and then you can go yourself. Come on, I don't be mean to my subscribers. Well, they're being mean to you. No, they're not. You're my grandma. No, he, James is one of my very best subscribers. Well, James I, don't, I don't like his talk. No, no, he's nice. Well, Trust well, me. I will let you know if they're creeps. Well, I don't have to be nice. Do you take that back? You tell James you're sorry. No, don't you touch that. I'm not You gonna tell James you're sorry. I'm a big Bowie fan besides me. Oh, is it yes, Bowie? Like, is it David Bowie? It's David Bowie. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I like Mick Jagger and Bowie, but I didn't like Bowie when I was younger. I only liked him like lately, and then he dies. Oh, okay. Uh, religious restraint. Oh, that's from Brian. Okay. Uh, butt nut. What? Uh, how's a butt nut? Okay. Wow. What would I give to be that top? You are anything but obese. Your figure makes me forget twenty-year-olds and makes me. Wow, preacher, one thousand one hundred thirty-eight. God would be disappointed. In oh you. my God! Oh, preacher also said your whole body is a gift from God. You have reignited my passions in me. I thought I was dead. Thank you. I've had to take so many cold showers. I might get hypothermia. See, preacher, one thousand three hundred, one thousand one hundred thirty-eight. I don't really think you're talking to God that much. I don't even believe him. Oh my God. Okay. He probably called his mom to pick him up. I don't know what that means. Okay. Hey, these are from different videos. They're all from different videos. Yes, all different. Okay. The voice of wisdom from someone I can't say their user. Yes. Yes, my name is. What is that? Where do you see that? Right here. It's a oh. Bur Burn Bernadus something. I gotta find my mouse thing. What is that? You know you can just go up and down with these arrows, Nanny, right? Well, I didn't know. But okay, if you watch, say so. Watch. Okay, no, no, no. You have to no. click on this, and then. No, that's too much to remember. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to come to see the Beach Boys. I thought they were half dead. That's a tribute band. Okay. Oh, uh, the voice of wisdom. You forgot to say that older women are not a pain. You also forgot to say that they don't play mind games and they're not on social media all day long. Okay. Okay, people giving me their WhatsApp number. Uh, oh, no, these are spam comments. People trying to steal money out of your bank account. Just ignore those. How do you know that? They're because they're from a different country. Well, yeah. No, it's not because they're from a different country. It's because they're just, they're bots. They're spam bots. When I did my July 3rd nightmare with a creep, uh, Patty was very on board here. She goes, you were very blessed that he wasn't a rapist or a killer. Glad you got back home safe and that you learned something. When somebody shows you who, who they are, you should believe them. And yes, I do believe that. Um, we were talking about intermittent anger disorder, and this other person says they think it's called intermittent ra rage disorder. Um, it's rage disorder. Mm -hmm. How do I get out of here to go even more? It's loading. See? Where? You have to, right how? here, Nanny. 
You see this loading bar right here all across your entire screen? So, well, well, is it not loading? Then? It's, yeah, you have a very crappy uh It's a browser. brand new computer. It doesn't matter if it's brand new if your software is outdated. Well, someone's telling me to put extra virgin olive oil in the morning at night and sprinkles of pink lime on the land salt. It's probably for a face mask. Yeah. You think? Probably. Well, it would be nice. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see, this says holes. See, this tells you what, yeah. what video is from. Oh, oh, okay. Just load it. I know you have to be patient with it. Oh, some guy, uh, Brian, also says I could star in a be casted in a movie soap opera. Yes. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I did a video about my first Viagra ex experience and this person's screen name is my asshole is gasping for air <laughs> this is a random comment he says he wants to die here click the read more what else do they say i don't know if i want to read more from i don't know is it a boy no it just he just wants no to it's die. it's a it's a spam account are you sure yes How can he... they're called trolls oh here's somebody oh he says please don't die i'm sure you're loved I no don't... you said that to that to that oh counter. oh yeah he must have been on a bad day okay mm, someone says i'm a renaissance liberated individual lady when i did the video of what sets me apart um okay you have to read the whole like uh i know that's a boring okay it says you are funny jerry west's I was talking about my first Viagra. He says, you're funny. Thank the Lord. I don't need Viagra either. Men work out, gym, nutrition, rest and recovery, and all natural. And you won't need it. Okay. Now, it's not loading again. I'm, because you have to be patient. You and Terry have no I, patience. Oh, hailed for review. Okay. So, maybe we should go to that. Yeah, these are, hailed for review means they're all just like, they're really nasty and mean. No, it's because I haven't okayed them yeah it's, it's so she yeah i made them i made them. a lot of them hold for review well yeah because you put in trigger words and usually those words are related Wait to comments minute. that are why nasty. is that even not loading? because nanny it's loading you've already you've clicked I, it six times i, I, have, I do it I, the video will go faster oh, oh, okay eight thousand held for review comments oh god whatever trigger words you put people are using a lot well i did put some to trigger roads and i trigger trigger Words and I also reported a lot of my subscribers who were uh, giving me death threats. Well, good. Yeah, that's FBI, what you should do. FBI's on them. Cyber police. No, they really are. If you get a death threat, anybody from me, the FBI takes over. No, they don't, Manny. Okay, no one takes over. They just they just block their IP address. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Be oh. patient. Oh it's my God! Wait a minute. These, oh, these are really good ones. Can I read them? Okay, yeah. I'll scroll. No, you should. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I did the uh, duel this morning. So, oh my God, what is that thing in the box? I can't hear crap at work. <laughs> I guess Joe Morrow thought it was something else, you know, because it looks like something else. Uh, I talked about my creepiest date, and Ed Kane, International Mail, says it was a great and hilarious story. You want to read the next one? Yeah, we got to... Uh, you're breaking my heart. Uh, when I talked about my memory loss. Oh. Oh, this person's name. First name, last name. <laughs> Don't exhaust yourself, baby. That can be very counterproductive. Instead, relax more and you will fall asleep peacefully. Uh, Keep oh, going down. I went live and, some, and Brian said, I have... Uh, he said rack. I don't even know what that is. Okay. That means boobs. Okay, okay. I'm like you now, Deb, at 43 years of age, been receiving SSI and SSD. Okay, that, that's personal stuff, so I won't say any more about that. Okay. All right, what else we got? Um, Keep going down. This lady's hot. Keep going down. Yeah, I don't want to read a lot of personal stuff that people's divulged in me. That's it. You look great for 67. You're not 67, though. <laughs> wow. Mr. Bass says that. Oh, here it is. Okay, what are we at? Come Stop on. scrolling. It'll okay. load. Okay. It's still loading. Don't touch uh, me. Okay. <laughs> it's 
She's just like me. I know. Just it's like ADD. Why do you think I'm able to deal with you? It's ADD, honey. It's, it, yeah, that's what it is. I'm, I'm ADHD, so. Whoa, here comes. It's I know back. because you keep hitting things. <laughs> okay. It's loading. A computer can only work as well as you let it. <laughs> well, honey, it ain't working fast enough for me. I don't mind dating an older woman. I need me. Yes, you are. Okay. Oh, okay. These are not very exciting now. Because you're not reading any of them. You gotta read the good ones. Well, you can't keep clicking it. It's loading. You have to wait. You know, this has never happened to me before. I usually can scroll it's fast. Because, well, it's because you don't use your laptop a lot. The longer you let it sit, the longer it takes to load things. Well, then I like need a to car. Use it more. Okay. You can't. You can't let your computer sit for a month and then expect it to work. I let it sit work. for a year. Or the last well, <laughs> what do you expect? Let's see. Now these are sad. These are from some of my subscribers that are sad. Everyone's sad. The world sucks. No, why is it not loading now? Oh, here we because go. It's, it's I hate my bra. Loaded. I hate my bra. I'm a little sore from a very. Oh, we shouldn't say that. An intense massage. You said that. That's what you said to a subscriber. I have not got a massage. Oh, yes, I do yes, get a massage. This a month ago. Oh, yeah, and he almost killed me. Because I I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but he was killing me. Uh, I can't believe I see other comments. What a treat. Yeah, I, I need to help her fix that on her YouTube. Because I don't know why you can't read any of her comments. I can change that right now. Okay, so... I will sign off and we'll change Well, no, that. no, no. We're doing a video. Do that after the video. Well. Huh. Mm. It's not that older men are narcissists. We are wise enough to spot gold diggers. You are far from Cinderella, but the shoe does fit. I need to keep her. See, okay, okay. so. They usually, think I'm a gold digger. Some of, some of my subscribers. So why don't you do a rebuttal to that? Am I a gold digger? No. Uh, tell the you're truth. Not, no, Nanny, you're not a gold digger. Tell you are a 60-year-old woman. Who has she knows hot. what she wants and knows how to get it, and that's. <laughs> well, no, I was gonna say you've raised your own family, yep. you've raised your grandchildren, you've you raised your family's kids. I think you've wiped everybody's butt in this family, you know. So it's not that you're a gold digger. It's you, you know, you were used to a certain lifestyle. Now you're older. You don't have that lifestyle anymore, and you want, you know, you want to do the things that make you happy. And if someone who can't pay their rent can't make you happy, then you don't need to date them. It doesn't make you. A I gold think it's digger. the opposite problem. I can't afford most men because they're economically challenged. No, yes. most men are garbage. Don't say that. Well, I it's true. Men. I like men too. I like women too. But why do you say they're garbage? They're not. Most of us are garbage. Oh my God, he's a man. I'm a man, and I will tell you, most of us are garbage. It's it's a lot to do with the misogyny and you know the social construct the construct that's in America. It's a lot of it's a lot of Red social head. education that we're gonna have to do over the next thirty. All right, years. let me ask you a question. Have I have you ever known me to ask a man for money or anything? No. Because what do they normally do? They just give it to me. <laughs> Honestly, if anyone has a problem, even if you were a gold digger, my thing is, is you're a grown woman, this person is a grown man, and if he wants to give you money, let him. Don't do it. Who cares? People have such a negative outlook on sex workers, on people who are escorts or, you know, sugar babies. You're or not assuming I'm a sex worker, because... Well, even if you were, who cares? Sex workers, sex work is the oldest profession in the world and should be respected as long as everyone consents, you know? I don't have any problems with that. I think most people have problems with gold diggers because men can't handle the fact that they may or may not be attractive and people only want to, when these women only want to be around them because they have money. But you're paying for this service for a reason. You're with the wrong You know? Yeah, if, if, if you aren't looking for a girl who... You know, who doesn't like to wear makeup. If you're looking for a girl who doesn't like to have fancy clothes and all that stuff, then why are you going to go after a woman who does like that stuff and try to change her? That's a problem with a lot of men. They try to mold women into what they want. It's usually images of their mothers. All right, this is how I feel about it. Okay. You guys, would you really want to be with a woman that never got her hair done, that never got her nails done, and that didn't buy a new dress every once in a while? I mean, then, then, you're, then you want...
then you want if if that's the kind of girl you want, then, then find fine. that girl. Yeah. But don't don't find a girl who's like my nanny, who's someone who likes the more extravagant things, kind of who who likes to put on makeup, who likes to go out to dinner, who likes to do these things that cost money. And then expect this person to change for what you want. That's the problem with a lot of people. Not just men, too. You know? People, you know, men, women, non-binary, anything in the spectrum, people have expectation. People are very entitled in the Western countries, especially yeah. in America. Yes. Everyone, and in phones, I love my phone. Don't get me wrong. I'm 20 years old. But phones and laptops and computers have made it very hard for people who aren't very patient Everyone just expects everything now, now, now. I want it now. I want it now. Everyone is so used to that. There's a word for that. I, I know there is. I forget the word. It's your brain starts to crave yes. this instantaneous Instant gratification. gratification. That's right. Yeah, gratification is what it is. So, you know, everyone's so, you know, so used to, oh, okay, well, if I need to know this, I can look on my phone. If I want to do this, well, you know what? I can do this. I can figure out how to do it. You know, everyone's so used to getting everything handed to them. Yes. Now that they have to work towards either building a relationship or a career or whatever. Whatever, they don't want to. Okay, this is my rebuttal, and I've talked about this many times on my channel. If a guy is calling you a gold digger, this is how I really feel. He it's because have... he can't afford you. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, because a real man would, would buy you a card once in a while, maybe a piece of jewelry. I have never asked a man for anything. They just give it to me. I was married for many, many decades, and he gave me a lot of jewelry, and I didn't ask for it. In fact, my granddaughter's gone to the jewelry store with her grandfather, and did I ever ask for any of that? No. no not from what I can remember. I actually g got a diamond that was brought in on a Brinks truck. You know, yeah. honestly, <laughs> like... To me, what matters the most is the thought. Like, I don't need people to buy me presents or anything like that. You know, of course, yeah, I'd love flowers. I'd love presents. Who wouldn't? But the thing is, it's whether or not you were thinking of that person that day. You know, you don't have to spend $50 oh, on a bouquet. I'm going to go get, a, I'm gonna go get something counts. that you gave me for Christmas, and I cried. I'm okay. going to get it. Oh, by the way, I have my Rolling Stone shirt on that my brother bought Here. me. So now let me go get it the, better. Let me go get the present. I just, I think, I think a really big problem, I'll, I'll talk a little bit to subscribers who don't care or know who I am. I think a big problem with, I think, society in general, general, when it comes to, you know, men who don't like gold diggers or men who don't want women that are a certain way is that men aren't taught to better themselves, which doesn't mean change yourselves, better yourselves, you know, for in the long run. So you can be, you know, a mentally healthy and stable person. You know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people want to see, you know, gender equality and all this other stuff. They want to see men wearing makeup and, you know, men wearing crop tops and stuff. I want to see men in therapy. I want to <laughs> see men in therapy, working out your issues. That's what, you know, the whole world needs. I, shit, I wish I had a therapist. I need one. I think everyone does. Well, you do have a therapist. He's up there. Oh, I don't believe in that. Okay, this is one of the most special gifts I've ever gotten. Oh my god, I remember making that. You were like leaving the house and I was trying to make it as fast oh as my I god. could. I was going through the worst part of my life and I had, um, it's like everybody was mad at me for leaving my I'll husband. And oh, nobody was giving it. me presents that year. They were in shock. What are you doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to the camera. So oh, you show it. It says, to Nanny from me, Alana. Yeah. Where's the camera? There's the camera. Yeah, hold it back. Yeah, I think, yeah, wiggle it a little bit. There, there you, you go. go. It's probably backwards, but you all know what it says. Okay, uh, I was going through a very rough time. I was crying all the time. I cried enough to fill up a swimming pool. I had not gotten any presents at all for lots of years. And my granddaughter came running out to my car and she made this out of filler paper. She just made me a box. No, I put something inside of it. I think I put like a bracelet inside of it or something. I don't know, but I'm, I forget. I just like the box, a paper box. Now, if I was a gold digger, would I would I be holding on to this? And this was like what twelve years ago, maybe. I think. I think. Of course, there are people who are gold diggers. Don't get me wrong, but I think sometimes a lot of people instantly go to that gold digger thing when women 
when women demand that men have jobs, they okay. have a you know a, Lana, a social pays, life. Do I have any rent here? Isn't this place paid for? You pay for this place in cash. In cash. Do I have a loan on my car? You've had that car since before I was born, so no. It's and I'm it's, twenty. It's twenty years old, and I uh, that's been paid off many many years ago. Uh, so the only bill I have is my electric and my HOA and you I, have regular everyday bills like everybody else. I have insurance on my car, but I pay all that myself guys. Uh, Trust me. If she was getting some extra money, I'd probably have some cause I'm a broke 20 year old. Uh, are you want people to buy you coffee? Just <laughs> Hello, my name is Alana Lamb. You can donate to the Bank of Alana. <laughs> Just give me your uh, social security number, your mother's maiden name, and your credit card information. <laughs> okay, on that note, I think uh, <laughs> I got to go to work in the morning. I'm going to say, I hope you've been, been entertained, uh, but I must leave this. Um, n no, I'm not a gold digger. I, I Sometimes I wish I was. <laughs> then I could quit my job. No. Listen, I'll be a gold digger for the both of us. <laughs> No, I really think... If you admit it, it's not a problem. No, nobody pays my bills. No, I was, I was trying to make a joke. Never mind. Bye. <laughs>